Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. So it is the week before Thanksgiving and I am doing a freezer and fridge clear out, trying to get rid of some of this food so I can make room for Thanksgiving food. So tonight's meal is kind of a hodgepodge of stuff that we have. So I am going to, um, well actually I already made this fried rice mix according to package directions. Um, it is from Winco, which is a grocery store around here. It's kind of like rice -a -roni and um, it does not have peas and carrots in there, it's just plain, but I'm going to make a like a, a rice pilaf with veggies. So I'm going to add in some parsley, some mushrooms, and some green onions, which I have not taken out of the freezer yet. And then I had all of these odds and ends in the freezer. So I have a few tempura shrimp, I have a couple of pieces of fish, and then I also have some more shrimp. So I am going to cook up all of this shrimp and we are going to have it with the uh, veggie rice pilaf. Okay, so here's our dinner for tonight. There is the veggie rice pilaf and then here is the fish and shrimp. I cooked everything in the air fryer. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. For dinner tonight, we are having unstuffed cabbage casserole. I've actually made this before on our channel and we liked it a lot. And I'll make sure to link that video in the description box. It doesn't look pretty, but it's a low carb meal. It's cabbage and ground beef and uh, seasoning and diced tomatoes and cheese and it's really good. You could of course serve it over rice, but we're trying to go lower carb tonight. So we're having that and then we're just having some garlic bread with it. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. Okay, so it's a quick and easy dinner tonight. I had a frozen pizza from Trader Joe's in my freezer. Never had this before. Uh, pizza Parlano, it's basically like a supreme pizza. The crust actually looks pretty good. It looks pretty, pretty soft, so um, anyway, here is the pizza itself. You can see all the different toppings on there. Italian sausage, pepperoni, roasted peppers, and roasted onions. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. So we are having breakfast for dinner tonight. I'm making biscuits and gravy. You hear Harrison in the background. I have one pound of breakfast sausage that I have uh, cooked up here. And to it, I just added two tablespoons of flour. I didn't drain my breakfast sausage. I'm actually using Jimmy Dean Hot. And I just poured in my flour, and I'm just gonna let this um, like cook, cook off that floury taste for probably about five minutes. And then I will be back. So there you see I just added in the half and half after about five minutes. Make sure that you're stirring up that, that flour and sausage. Make sure that you, know, you don't just let it sit there. You don't want it to burn. Um, and so now all you're gonna let this do is come to a simmer. It's gonna thicken. It's probably gonna simmer for about five or 10 minutes or so. If you wanna add in additional salt, you can. I usually don't because we're trying to watch our salt intake. Some black pepper would also be good. Now I did um, record a video on how to make this sausage gravy that's more extensive. And I'll make sure to link that in the description box. Um, in case you want more details on exactly what I did. Okay, so here is dinner. I hope you guys thought it was super easy to make because it really is. Again, I did record a whole video with more detail on how I make my sausage gravy, so I'll make sure to link that in the description box. Serving it over, of course, some biscuits. I have frozen biscuits, and then I also made some cheesy scrambled eggs. So. I always, well not always, but a lot of times I add these french fried onions to my eggs. I love um, onions with my eggs, but I don't necessarily want to chop them or use frozen all the time. 
So I just add these in. So once I scramble up my eggs in the bowl, I just throw the French fried onions in and then I scramble it in the skillet. And then I also added a couple of slices of this cheddar cheese. I just had literally two slices left. Again, I'm trying to clear out my fridge in time for Thanksgiving. So I just added these two pieces of cheese into the scrambled eggs and scrambled those up as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. So we are having a quick and easy meal from our freezer tonight. We are having this crunchy chicken. I've actually um, bought this before and I really like it a lot. It has a good flavor. I really like this brand. I've had their marinades and dumplings and you name it and everything I get from them is pretty good. So we're having that and I just cooked the chicken in the air fryer and then once it came out, I put the chicken in a skillet and then I tossed it with the sauce that comes with it. And then one thing I will say is that they are kind of skimpy on the sauce that they give you. And then we are trying out this fried rice for the first time. Howard and I both just gave it a try and it is really good for a frozen fried rice. So let me show you the plates and this is what it looks like. The chicken and here is the fried rice. The fried rice did have peas just like the picture and we took them out before I cooked it. But it has a really good flavor, big chunks of chicken, eggs, there's onions and um, onions and carrots in there as well, and also corn. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time.